think AI is one of the biggest things that are changing our society at the moment. It's like the invention of the internet. AI has been sort of exploding all over the world for the, for the last year. So Rise of AI is the largest AI conference in Germany. It's one of the three largest AI conferences in Europe. But we do not aim to be the largest. I want to have the highest quality. Oh, it's amazing because I have so many different kind of impressions. I like it. I really like it. It's been tremendous. I mean, every time I come to it, I have a, a, an incredible time. Fabian really collects a lot of brilliant thinkers. And because all of the speakers are invited, he gets to pick and choose a lot of the best of the best. One of the major questions we have now is, so supposing that AI is going to be getting smarter and smarter and playing a larger and larger role in society, you know, who controls this and, and for whose benefit is this being done? It's really a neutral technology. It's both good and bad, and it reflects the values of the people in it. And if we only tell these scare stories over and over again, then people who are, don't have any technological knowledge, any engineering background, are always going to be afraid. And when people are afraid, they make dumb decisions. If we think this is just a bit like the beginning of the internet with a website, which is the case, which is machine learning, deep learning, we will completely miss the bigger thing which is coming up. Is it in two years? Is it in three years? For sure, in 10 years it will be there. The speed up at which we are understanding AI needs to map the actual traction in the industry. So and I think this is one of the biggest challenges for the German economy and for many European companies be more positive about it so there are more chances um, and not only talk about theoretical ethical issues they have to be discussed but first we need products in the market who really somehow do something with the stuff that we have working today for sure we could totally radically reorganize and should reorganize how stuff works and we're not doing it we're sort of trying to be very incrementalist and that's that's really dangerous We are at a phase where I always wanted to be. Yes, we started with 10 people discussing the potential of AI, and we always saw the potential. And now we are reaching it. We're not there where it will be. We are still at the beginning. Imagine a Formula One race. Once the qualification run is finished, which is in two years, I don't know, then it's the real race. And we cannot just wait for Americans and Chinese to do AV machine learning using the data and overwhelming us. So I think this is a call for action. <laughs>